Hello, so today's video is going to be on this strange little device, and this I believe is called a Bereg 1, if you pronounce it sort of in English. So I believe this is either Ukrainian or Soviet, and this was basically a late Cold War little decimeter Geiger counter. Now something I'll point out is, in kind of the Soviet bloc Warsaw Pact, it seems that most radiation detecting devices are called decimeters. Uh, in the West, decimeter tends to mean something that measures an accumulative dose of radiation. You'd say Geiger counter or radiation detector or ion chamber or whatever for something that measures the amount of radiation you're currently experiencing. So, for example, here's a good example. So, one of these would be a decimeter pen. In the West, we'd call this a decimeter pen because you can look at it and see your accumulative dose of radiation. Um, a device like this we wouldn't call a decimeter, but in the Soviet bloc they tended to be called decimeters, so I generally tend to call these decimeters because that's what they called them. Um, but just some people get funny about that and go, it's not a decimeter because it doesn't show you your cumulative dose. Um, but yeah, it's we'll, we'll call it a decimeter because if they called it a decimeter, you know, that's the name they used and they weren't stupid, were they? At least well, not when it came to designing cool tech like this. So what this is, and Hype recommended this to me, um, and it is really cool. Um, it's an analogue display, but like an early digital kind of um, Geiger counter. So it doesn't go to a very high dose. Now, annoyingly, it says millirongen per hour under there, and it's colour-coded, but it doesn't have any numbers to show you what they mean. Um, I've got the manual here as well, and I'll show you all the manual in a minute. But what I think from looking online, because the seller had a lot of informa information on it, but they didn't tell you the doses in millirongens, they showed you what it would be in kind of microsieverts equivalent. And millirontgens and microsieverts don't directly kind of translate into easy numbers with each other but if you want to do an easy very simplified one every 10 microsieverts is one millirontgen so I believe this goes up to something like 25 millirontgen um, and it would basically be something like the top 15 to 25 is the red section you know something like 1 to 5 millirontgen is the green section and then whatever else is the yellow. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how the numbers work up. But the point is, you know, as it goes up higher in the meter, you know, it shows you the danger. So it's got a little pocket clip that does look a bit flimsy. Um, and it's got a battery compartment. So I'll show you the batteries. This is kind of bizarre. You can have two types of batteries in it and it's all like the weird watch batteries. So it's got two flat ones or three flat ones. Is it? Yeah, two flat ones in that, that one there. Or you could have some longer, thinner ones in that bit there. But you can power it on either type and seller included batteries, which was nice because otherwise I'd still be waiting for batteries to come to test it. So there's only three buttons on it, or two switches and a button. So it's very easy to work. So you press this one. This is the circuit check. The needle shot across, yet yeah, the circuit check works. This one is the speaker, as you can see via that, and that is the circuit. So let's flick both of them on. And he beeps. So it'll take a couple of seconds to warm up properly, and then it will start detecting radiation. Now, if you notice the symbol on there, it's the gamma symbol. Um, this can detect gamma and X-rays. It can also detect beta radiation as well. It uses a standard Soviet, I believe it's called the SBM-20 Geiger tube that sits down this side of it. It's basically just in there. Um, so it's very, very simple. That's all it does. I was just seeing if it was, the case was closed via screws or whatever. Because if it wasn't, I'd just quickly pop it open for you to have a look. Oh, I think I might even be able to do that. Now, you know, I know I should probably disconnect the batteries before doing that, but I was just wondering if it was possible to open it up enough that you could see, or can I? Uh, I don't want to force it, so I won't do that. Anyway, so, yeah, there you can see, there's the needle moving. So what you'll probably hear, if I start moving it over in this direction... Oh, he's found something, and the needle's gone all the way across. So, what I have here is just some bits of autonite and torbonite, you know, some radioactive minerals that are very, very pretty, but also radioactive, in a little bit in there with some silica gel. And if you put that next to that, the needle moves. Take them away again, it will start dropping down. So, there's not loads to say about these, but these are actually quite cheap on eBay. You can The one I bought from a Ukrainian seller came in a couple of weeks after buying it, and it was in total like somewhere between 30 and £40 pounds sterling. So, not bad at all in dollars, that would be like $50. Um, now, I'd actually in some ways trust this more than some of the very cheap, bad digital decimeters. Now, obviously, something like my therapy, that is my definitely my first choice ever now if I'm using 
like a personal Geiger counter decimeter. But this thing is really cool. I like it because it's retro and it's got that lovely sort of early plastic feeling sort of case. I wouldn't really trust dropping this. And it's got an analog display. How cool is that? Something digital circuits, but an analog display. Um, so it's very easy to read the display. So I think the idea more of this one is less using it for scientific, like how many Ronkens are there, or milli Ronkens, because as I said, it only goes from somewhere like zero to 25 milli Ronken. But the point is, in the level of radiational experiencing, is it green, is it okay, is it yellow, ooh, that's not great, or is it red, dangerous? Now it goes into the red, dangerous thing at a very low level, but I still think this is basically to show you, you don't want to be around that for long. So let's say you turned it on in your house and it went to red, you'd be going, oh dear, why is that red? Um, so yeah, as you can see, if you're in background, the background will be slightly no lower because there's a little bit of gamma hitting it from the rocks over there. You know, but as you get it closer to a radioactive source, as you see, it's very responsive. So yeah, you'd see when it's like that, you'd be going, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So yeah. In terms of milliroontgens, um, it's a very, very easy to read display. You don't need to know anything about milliroontgens or microsieverts or anything like that. By looking at this display, you can simply look at the colour it's showing and then say, how bad is it at the moment? If you want to turn the speaker off, you can turn it off. It doesn't make the classic Geiger counter clicking noise. Obviously, it makes a beep, but the beep's quite cool. And then you can put it on doing that. Obviously, that's the off and on button. Um, the needle does take a little while to reset. I don't know if you do a circuit check and do that if it resets any faster. No, it doesn't seem to. I was just thinking that was an idea, but no. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very simple. So, yeah, I'd kind of recommend this. It's a cool old novelty. Uh, let me just quickly get you the manual out and show you the manual. So, for all my Russian subscribers, I assume, you'll be able to read this, because I assume the manual is in Russian and not Ukrainian. But there we go. So this particular one was published in 1990. Right, I hope the camera wants to autofocus. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There we go. Right, so that's that. We'll open it up. I'm not going to... What, I'm just going to do the regular thing of pause on the page if you want to see it in detail. The most interesting page in this is the one where it's got like a hammer and sickle stamp on it, which I guess was a quality inspection stamp. Then I'm just going to do that when it focuses. Nice little drawing of it. Showing you what the buttons do. Again, I can't understand the manual, because obviously I don't speak Russian, but, um... Ooh, here's a table. Ah, so I reckon that's there, saying micro-sieverts and milli -ronkens. Unless it's micro ronkens and milli -ronkens. But yeah, I reckon... Because it, it says 612250, so I reckon... Unless that's 2.5 milli -ronkens. I really don't know. So somebody somebody can tell me in the comments who speaks fluently. But yeah, it, it's got all the details in here, but... I mean, what I can do at some point, when I can be really bothered to do it, is set this up next to the therapy, try and put something that's a very consistent source, you know, both left and right, of radiation to both of them, put it as close to the tubes as I can on both of the decimeters, and see how it lines up, then I can definitely work out what the numbers equal. But yeah, I'll, I'll just jump to the interesting page now. This one. So if you look at that, look, in, I guess, 93, um, or may maybe earlier than 93, there was a little hammer and sickle quality inspection stamp on there. There's also one that says Oct 1922, so I don't know if it's saying that's valid until October the 19th, um, 2022, or if that's just something else entirely. But yeah, it's a cool little thing, isn't it? So, there you go. That's all I really have to say about it. As I said, I might have got the measurements totally wrong in this manual. Maybe it's just 1 to 5 milli Ronken. Maybe it's 1 to 3.6 milli Ronken. But the point is, it's got a nice colour-coded thing that shows you how safe the level of radiation is, you know, you're currently encountering. So, yeah, you don't have to understand anything about the milli Ronken numbers, at least, for this. Um, you just literally look at the colour guide and you say, how screwed am I based on the colours it's gone to? And of course, post-nuclear attack, everything would just be going and, uh, you know, stuck on the red. I don't know if you can trip this one out. I'll have to try that at some point. I don't want to damage it. But what I will do in a later video at some point, or maybe just on a live stream, is get a load of radium or something, stick some radium to the side, and see if putting, you know, like a quarter of a Ronken per hour or something, beta and gamma hitting it, will that cause it to, you know, almost clock over and peg to zero because of how low the reading is. But yeah. For what it is, if you just wanted a little personal decimeter, 
Well, it's not a dissimilar, you know what I mean. If you just wanted a little personal radiation monitoring piece of equipment, this is actually really cool. And, you know, yes, you can get much better things like the Therapy now, which is smaller, you know, um, much more accurate. They log your doses, you know, they, they give you all sorts more information. But this is colour-coded, so, you know, you don't have to understand anything about radiation. You just look at the colours.